Hi everyone, welcome to 2020. Welcome back to CO2. We are in the second decade of the game. Things are going okay. My points are a little bit sparse, which is bad because not only do I want a good score at the end, I want to actually make it to the end and uh, you pay points to try and survive. You know all that though, you saw part one, didn't you? If you didn't, <laughs> I hope this makes sense in some way. Uh, so let's get started. What do I want to do? So I want to carry on with some of these projects. The inspector wants me to do something in North America. So what could be done? We don't particularly want to do forestry. We do want to get a handle on wind, don't we? We do want to harness wind. Although for the... We, we want to get multiple recycling. We want to get at least two recycling out for UN, hopefully. Although we don't particularly need to do that one. We can leave up to three. Although for the best ranks, you want to do all of them to be considered amazing. Uh, but yeah, we probably want to... I, I'm more focused on actually getting to the end of the game rather than what the game is going to call me at the end. We want to get all the way to the end of the wind track, though. If we can propose multiple ones... Yeah, let's, let's propose recycling just so we can get a move on with the summit and get some scientists back and do something with them. So let's propose another recycling. Although we don't need to be up that track particularly. So I can propose it... Let's see. Proposing another one in Asia. We don't want anything built in Asia. And, like, for the goals, I mean. And it wouldn't help me with region control or anything because it's the same type again. So I want to build it in Oceania or North America. And I might, it might be worth doing both in Oceania, actually, because if I built two in North America and they were recycling and wind, that wouldn't actually help as much because... I still wouldn't have control because I would have two types, the same number of types, but the you know I would have number three rather than number one. So let's propose recycling in Oceania. Do I want a scientist? I'm kind of thinking of getting the, the bonus again for... I, I want money, don't I? Let's see, if we, if we propose... And I want tech cubes. I don't think I need a scientist right now. I'm going to propose recycling here and get some tech cubes. So two tech cubes. And I get myself a knowledge in recycling. So my first thing was propose. I'm going to move a scientist over to recycling. And, and so my second action, I think, let's get it out of the way. I'm going to take a second action, by the way. So 410 on the pollutionometer. And so 410 on the pollutionometer, and I'm going to do some infrastructure on that plant. So pay a CEP, I can do that. Move the scientist over to the summit, get myself another recycling for moving off. That gets me uh, wind knowledge. Then move scientist, receive the benefits. It's $5 and a CEP. CEP prices go up and restock. And I've got myself. Nine dollars there, which is not the, the forestry ones are really expensive. Twelve dollars to get that built. Uh, so now, infrastructure receive benefits, flip the tile, and place my infrastructure. There we go. And so, yeah, that isn't that hasn't particularly helped with any of that stuff just yet, but we are going to get some goals done here. We have a summit to resolve in Lisboa. So first of all, we have talked about forestry, recycling, and a two-topic summit. That's almost all of these covered, which is great. If we can do one of these fours, I have a feeling that's going to be really difficult to do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if we, if we can do it, that's fantastic. Maybe it would be a better strategy to be leaving some of these proposals just out and using your extra actions to move them to the summits while they stay out and other scientists can go there and you can spread across the others. Yeah, I haven't really done that this time. But uh, knowledge, we don't particularly care about recycling or forestry anymore for goals, but in terms of getting money and getting rewards, bonus steps up things, what can we get? So we've got four moves split between these tracks. Three would get me another move up somewhere else. I think for income and everything, I'll do two here. So that gets me one in forestry. And then two here. 
and that gets me a CEP and one anywhere, which I will take in Wind. Yes, I'm happy with that. Uh, so that was all of that. The scientists come back to me. There are no scientists out, unfortunately. So Lisboa is done with, and we are now going to talk in Madrid. Maybe. Maybe we'll try and get one of these. But the thing is, I don't think it's possible for me to do a summit of four topics by myself this decade because of all the amount of proposing and stuff I would need to do. So I think we're just going to have to accept that I'm just going to be doubly punished for that goal and uh, think about other things for now. So that was infrastructure market. I do have a lot of CEPs. I think I am going to sell a CEP while the price is right. So that goes out to here. I get $6 for it. So I'm feeling a bit flush now. And when you sell a CEP, you reduce the price, which is going to help out if I want to buy them in future. Okay, so that is my first turn of the decade. Roll them back down. Now we want some power plants built. I think I'm going to propose again right now. Yeah, we want a wind farm on the way out. So I think I'm proposing wind in North America, and I've got a bit of money. I, I might go for scientist, although this is a 5 CEP place. Getting a scientist gets me an extra knowledge. No, I'm going to go for the money for now. So I'm going to propose that there. Take the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, that shouldn't have a CEP, should it? Because it got a, for a fossil fuel plant. That'll have been a subtitle. So I would only get 4. I think that's still good, though. Let's put one back and get a 5. So propose, check the agenda is fine. Gain the knowledge. So we're now on three there. And we've received the grant. I'm going to move a scientist with my action as well onto there. And I'll get another knowledge when it moves off. For my second action, though, I'm going to finish a power plant. Yes. Well, this gets me more money. It's going to be good to have money. So let's... Yeah, let's, let's do the pollution. And let's finish this forestry power plant. So the cost is going to be $12. And a CP. It's three cubes, though. We might just have to propose something and get some more tech cubes, whether we want it or not. Yeah, so that's all of my tech cubes. Move it down here. Get the <laughs> Disney castle and place it on there and then earn the victory points it is 10 victory points though that is gonna be a massive help i think when it comes to paying for the punishments uh, we have built something in europe which we do want to do we want something else built in europe as well uh, for goals uh, place control cube not taking control of anything just yet another uh, power plant built in there will do that though. So that's my two actions, isn't it? I don't want to sell a CEP. Oh, I want to play a card though. Cards. I have built a forestry plant. I will get three dollars. And we move on to action three. So something wants to be built in North America by the end of this. And if we could get oh, if we can get a summit done, I don't know if we've got enough time, but if we have, that would be fantastic. Let's... I think we might, you know. I need tech cubes. Yeah, let's propose something. Let's propose some solar energy. Actually, doing the infrastructure for solar energy will get me three tech cubes. So I could potentially just go for the scientist as the reward instead for this. So wh where do I want it? I could, if I placed it in Africa, there's no goal for Africa, but it would get me control... The CPs, there aren't that many CPs though. If I did it in Oceania, there is still a goal for there. And actually, it was a waste putting recycling there, wasn't it? I should have put recycling maybe in Asia. We could still do that. We could do a take back. What if it wouldn't make any difference to anything practically? Although I think that's there from a previous round, isn't it? Let's not do huge take backs. I should have done that in Asia and uh, it's a bit of a waste putting it in there. So I can't get tech cubes. I... Do I want money then? 
So I could propose this in Asia, but we, we haven't got the goal, have we? Although the Oceania goal is going to be done by that. So yeah, let's, let's propose this in Asia and do money because that's going to be $6. Just while that still is six, I will do the move scientist action and get my scientist in there. I've done solar, so I move up on there. And I think that's everything from there. And so my second action, I'm going to tick up again. And my second action is going to be infrastructure over here, maybe? Here's my last CP. Oh. I do have money to buy CPs if I want them, though, haven't I? It would have been a good idea to sell another one last round so the price was less, and then I would have made you know, a little bit of money doing it, made a dollar. But I didn't do that. We'll, we'll cross that bridge if we come to it when we need them. So I, I pay a CEP over here. Because, yeah, we want the thing built in North America for the goal. So I pay the CEP. Uh, the steps move the scientist over. I'll do that one. Because maybe we can get that done before the end. I think we can. Yeah, so that gives me another knowledge over here. So we're halfway. I get a tech cube. And we've done another goal there. Receive the benefits. It is a tech cube. So I am back up to two. And flip the tile and place my infrastructure. Yeah, it's a shame I haven't worked this out better and I'm not in control of any regions to use their CEPs. Yeah, I wish I'd done that. But I have. I've just sent someone to a summit so I can do a card. And that gives me another knowledge in uh, wind. And that gives me a CEP. Ooh. Okay. These things just have a way of working themselves out. Okay, so that's all good. So I don't want to do anything in the market. In action four, let's see. We definitely want to get this built. So let's do that as the main action. And hopefully we've got stuff left over to do something else. So building wind, that is going to be $9.00. And a CP and two tech cubes, which is a bit annoying because I've got I've got the combination, I've got that combination there to do that UN card, but you need two tech cubes to be able to take that. We'll get them though. Spinning a lot of plates. So I've paid all of that stuff. Uh, move the infrastructure down and put the lovely wind farm. Look at that. Put the wind farm in. And Place power plant, earn victory points. That is seven victory points for a level one. That's put us on 25. If I had more money, I could get another built because we've got infrastructure there on recycling, but I've got the money. I just haven't got any CEPs or any tech cubes, unfortunately. And I can't do the same action twice, so not even worth thinking about. So building, we've built... Uh, I, haven't, I haven't built any more this round, have I? Am I only going to have built one... Thing. No, we built one in Europe, didn't we? And we did the goal, yeah. Yeah, we did do something. I've just done one, though, in North America, which is the one we were worried about. And it's a wind farm. So I could do this for extra money, but I still wouldn't be able to afford the CP. <sighs> or have the... I could send a scientist away permanently to get a tech cube. But yeah, I still wouldn't be able to afford the CP. Unfortunately, the project that's proposed that I could do the infrastructure for... I can't build anyway. I can't stop thinking about building. Uh, so the card, I've just built a wind farm. This could be my only opportunity to do this and get three extra dollars. Or I could move my scientist right now without doing the infrastructure for that solar. Because I haven't moved a scientist yet. And get myself extra knowledge. But like this might happen again. Building a wind farm might not happen again. It might, because there are, there are a few things out there that want two wind farms. This is the last turn, though, isn't it? And having more knowledge is going to translate to more income. So I'm going to, I'm going to have played this one in a minute. So let's, let's move a scientist first to this summit. Uh, and that gets me a solar knowledge. I'm going to play this card that's going to get me another solar knowledge. 
And yeah, I can't do infrastructure or anything because I haven't got any CEPs. So we we need to propose. Some, I could just not do a second action, but I feel, yeah, while this action is only costing me, you know, two points to move that back down, later on it's going to cost more and more, and I probably won't get to do those actions. So let's let's propose something new. I think since wind farms are cheaper, I'm tempted to put another one out there. I want tech cubes. Who cares about wind farms? I've got a... Oh, I haven't done a cube there. Oh, wind farm. We want to do another one in Europe, so let's, let's go Europe. Although I'm not going to be able to put a scientist on it just yet. That's going to give me... Another wind farm knowledge, and that gives me a knowledge anywhere. I'm going to put that into solar. Yeah, I'm going to put it into... I'm actually going to put it into uh, hydroelectric there, just so it's bumped up the income a little bit. And so I get two tech cubes for placing it out. And yeah, that's it for those. I do have a summit that we can talk about. So this is a summit where we were talking about solar energy. So almost all of those goals done. And yeah, I'm going to keep getting punished for that because the inspector isn't going to move, is he? Oh dear. Anyway, we've got four knowledge points. And I believe... Yeah, we can, we can do a goal this way. We can say one, two, three, go there, and I get a CEP, which unfortunately hikes up the prices of CEPs. Maybe I wanted to buy one before the price went up. I haven't done that, though. And I have one knowledge left over, so I will. Now, going up to halfway in solid does get me a tech cube, but it isn't going to get me any more income. Whereas over here will get me more income and a CEP. So I'm gonna go up it. Actually, I can't I can't choose solar, can I? I can't I can't choose water. I can choose solar or I can choose solar or wind. And I've done all of this wind, so I will have to go for solar now, which gets me a tech cube. Okay. Then my scientists are back with me. I need a new summit. It's another three topics. So these summits now, great form, great sources of uh, knowledge for racing up these tracks, but all the ones now are three and four topicers, which is going to be hard. We've done this goal, haven't we? We've uh, researched all about wind. And there we go. That's, that's all I can do, I think. I could go to the market, but actually the market's closed because it ran out of CEPs. So yeah, unfortunately I missed that opportunity. I've done everything that I can do. So, we have income. Let's leave that for now. Let's look at goals. So, it's two points for each we didn't do. So, that's going to be two, four. The inspector's one is satisfied. Six, eight. Unfortunately, this is an inspector one, so it's another two. So, 10 points lost there. I'm on 15 points. Then, we move on to the energy in the 2020s. We start in Europe. I'll get the bag of doom. We do have a power plant built in Europe, so that's something. Africa, unfortunately, we didn't, and it's going to be a 30. One, two, three. Over in Asia, we unfortunately didn't. Uh, it's a shame because that's a really good source of money putting, uh, proposing things in there. So that's going to be a CEP gone and another 30, which is, puts us on 500. Uh, we didn't do one in Oceania. And that's going to be another 30. So now to pay, it's two points for each step. So for that 30, that's going to be six points. Let's be down to nine points. Over here, we did do one. And in South America, we didn't do one. Come on, be a 20, please. And that's going to be a 40. Oh, yeah, I've just got enough. That puts me on down to one point. And we're at 500, and I can't afford to lower it anymore. This feels like a bad position to be in. <laughs> we do have a power plant raring to go, though. I wonder if we can get three built this decade. And, and enough points and stuff. I don't know. Let's see. So income, this time, is 4, 8, 11, 17, 22. I think I'm going to take... 12 points and 10 money. Let's see how that goes. 
Just a snap decision. Snap decision. Uh, so that's all of this done. 2030s over here. This inspector, I assume, will not move. And yeah, let's let's see what uh, the green inspector is going to do. Does he care about Oceania or Europe? Four. That is going to be one, two, three, four. He cares about Europe, which is annoying because oh, we have got something proposed. We've got the infrastructure in Oceania, though. So we're into the 2030s, and now we need to be thinking about grabbing as many of these as possible. So in the first turn, let's move a scientist. Yeah, let's do solar. So I'm going to do... Well, this is going to use up my one CEP, though. If we can build this plant, I'll have control of all of these CEPs to be able to spend from. And so we do want to be going up in solar. So yeah, we're moving the scientist to solar. We're doing infrastructure. That costs me a CEP, unfortunately. Move scientist. Let's go to a... What are we likely to do out of these? Should we go to a four? Or should we just give up on that and just know that that punishment is coming? That's going to be eight points in the final round, though. We could try it. Yeah, let's, let's try Paris. I think that's the most likely to happen. No, I don't see forestry happening again. Okay. To Paris, yeah. The English should move the scientists to receive the benefits. It's three tech cubes. And then flip the tile and place the infrastructure. Oh, moving the scientist got me a solar knowledge too. I'm going to do a card and I'm going to retrieve this. I've done um, hydro and forestry. It means you have to have done the infrastructure to claim the card, but the power plants have to be built as well. It doesn't matter who built them, and we don't track who built them. It costs me two tech cues, and it gets us two points. And it's a, it's a condition for winning the game that at most three of those can be left. So two points there. Actually, we should, we should have five extra dollars from there. Yeah, I didn't take five dollars. I just took the cube. Oh, this makes things better. So my, my action is going to be building now. Oh, I can't afford to I can't afford to have extractions. There's nothing I can do about that. Oh dear. I think in this third decade the world has kind of reached its apex. So I'm gonna let's in let's in in this first action, let's go let's go to the market then and pay six for a CEP. Second action is going to be build. So all my things are available again. Let's, let's move a scientist first. And the only place it can go is there. So we can build over here, and that's going to give us access to the CEPs of the region. Oh yeah, another mistake. I should have proposed that here, I think, because Europe is a goal. It's not a mistake, it's just bad strategy. Well, same thing, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's not a rules mistake. I, I, I could go there. I just shouldn't have chosen to. Let's build it. Let's see how this goes. So that's going to be $10, a CEP, and two tech cubes. Build some lovely solar down there. That's going to be eight points. So that's 22. And... Oh, the, the region. I am now in control of the region. I can finally place one of my control hexes. And I can spend CEPs from there as if they were my own. I'm not allowed to sell CEPs from there. But yeah, that gives us, that opens that up a little bit. Is there a card that I can buy? Because we need to keep on top of that, although that's going to give me no tech cubes to be building more things. Although, what, what about one that only wants one tech cube? Yeah, let's do this one. We've done those three types. So, card over here, tech cube, that's fine. Claim that, two more points. I already moved my scientist. Then third action is going to be infrastructure here. So the scientist goes up there. I can't have the wind. I've already gone to the end of that. So uh, pay, pay the CEP. That can come from Asia. Pay the CEP, move the scientist, receive the benefits. It's a cube and $5. Flip the tile and place my infrastructure. Now, I do have more cubes to be claiming more cards, but it's just a shame. I've only got four more turns. Even if we make it to the end, I'm going to have four more turns 
to claim stuff, which means at best we're going to have two of these left over, even if we manage to do the rest of them. Because now I, I can't spend my tech cubes, unfortunately, doing that. I don't think, are we ever going to do this? I shouldn't have sent them to summits. I should have just sent them to these cards, I think, and gotten, you know, my tech cubes and my $2 here and there. What we can do... Oh, that's not enough. Oh, I'll just make funny noises until I decide. Yeah, let's, let's decide to play this. Oh, it just gives me a tech cube, though, and I can't claim the card for anything. And the $3 might be more worth it. I don't know. Let's let's go for it. Let's let's build as the so I did the infrastructure as the third action. I can't do anything else because I need two tech cubes to be able to build this thing, and I want to build the Europe one because that's the one the inspectors in a huff about this uh, decade. I can't move a scientist anywhere unless I want to go for the. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, oh, then they're stuck on that summit forever because I shouldn't have sent them there. Or do we live in hope that they're going to come off there? Yeah, let's, let's live in hope. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to build a power plant. It's going to cost me $9 and a CEP that can come from Asia and two tech cubes. Move the infrastructure down here. Get a nice wind farm. Uh, points is seven. Is that enough to save me? I really doubt it. <sighs> basically lost out on at least a couple of extra actions by just not being able to take them because of that. And I don't think I'm going to be able to pay to get them low enough. Uh, let's, let's not worry about that just yet, though. Uh, earn victory points. Place control cube. So that's wind. We're now in control of this region as well and can spend CEPs from Europe. And we built something in Europe, which means the inspector isn't going to doubly punish us. I've basically earned six points, stops us losing six points by doing that goal and earned seven points for actually doing the thing. But yeah, pollution, I think, is really, really going to get us. So extra things. I'm going to play this card, not for its $3, but... F I should have played... Yeah, I played this last turn, let's say, to get the tech cube, and now this turn, I'm going to claim a card. I can claim this one. Yeah, that's two... Two wind, which there is now, and a recycling, that's okay, and that's two more points. Just because I think yeah, those three dollars aren't as important as those two points right now. That could be the difference. And it's another UN card claimed. So we could potentially just have one left. But I don't think we're gonna have the tech cubes to be able to do that. But anyway, let's uh let's skip income and stuff for now. That was the fourth action, by the way, I I, I believe. Unless I've cost myself an action. Goals. It's three points per goal, so there's going to be three, six, nine points. So that is going to put us on 24. Then for the power plants, it's still, yeah, I only got two built. I could maybe have got three built. I don't know about having money and stuff, but it would. It, I had the potential to have three. And here we'll find out, should I have taken more, more um, points? I had two money left over. Maybe I could have taken two more points as income last uh, decade. So I'm basically gonna have how many regions are there two four six so i'm gonna have four fossil fuel things coming out let's let's just do it as normal let's uh, not do it in a weird way 40 is not a good start sorry africa has been completely neglected i do apologize so that's three points for each step i am already at 500 so i have to pay so that's going to be three times four that's 12 points that puts me down to 12. I don't think it's possible. Even if two's come out, I haven't got enough uh, points to bring us back down. Uh, Asia's fine. Oceania, I come out of the bag. It's another 40, unfortunately. So that's going to put me on zero points. Then we go to North America. <laughs> that's another 40. So yeah, 540 is the, the state of the world right now. And then another 30 there, and yeah, more CEPs would need taking off. I think I did one there. One comes off there. Two should be off there. But yeah, that is basically... We're at zero points, and we're over 500. Oh, wait, 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 we get income, don't we? So I need... So we did 40 and 40, and we paid for that. 
So I need to have 12 and another 9 points. So I need 21 points to be able to stay in it even. Is it possible? <laughs> so my income is 8, 12, 18, 23. So yes, it is possible. I stay at 500. I have two points. I could take those as money. It's not going to matter though, is it? Because I can't take extra actions again. Let's just take them as money. I think I'm out of the game either way. Two dollars as money. Which might surprise you. Two dollars as money. I'm supposed to have six CEPs in my hand as well. No, I've... <laughs> I, I I made some poor decisions in uh, placing these, so I had to keep spending CEPs from my hand, whereas I could have been in control of a region, and yeah, I, I did not make the best choices this playthrough. But hey, this is this is how not to strategize. I should have given up on that uh, summit, I think, rather than trying to just populate the whole thing myself. Unfortunate that that goal even came out. But yeah, that's that's just the way it goes. Uh, and, and you can actually, I forgot to mention this at the start, you can make the solo game harder by having a special solo endgame goal as well as uh, your other two goals that you need to achieve. So, you know, get to the end of all five tracks to be able to uh, win the game. But yes, I am <laughs> clearly not, uh, not very good at saving the planet. So I've basically got four more actions left in this game before I lose it. Let's try and make the best of the world, though, eh? So I need to propose some projects. So the, the inspector moves around, is going to look at Oceania, so we want to get that built. So I need to propose projects to get money, and also to get tech cubes for building and UN cards. Let's just try and get this built. Let's just try and do these goals. That will be our goal, knowing that uh, I'm going to lose. So, Oceania, I need $7 a tech cube to be able to do this. I've got $4. Ooh, 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 ooh. This could change a lot of things. Oh, no, it couldn't change loads. Basically, now, this region, Africa, is full. So if you built anything in Africa, it would remove the oldest fossil fuel plant, which is only 20, but it would give me the ability to do extra actions. It's just that my first three actions would be propose infrastructure and build here rather than where we want to in Oceania. But maybe in my fourth action, I'd get to do an extra action and maybe that can save us. I don't know. The downside is getting money to be able to build the thing. Because I don't have any CEPs to sell. Okay, let's see if this works out. We'll do solar then, because I want solar for the knowledge. And we'll propose it to get the fourth scientist. Because that gives me a knowledge anywhere. I'll take the knowledge anywhere in hydro and get a CEP. Which drives the price of CEPs up. I will then... I'm going to fail anyway though, because of the goal, aren't I? We'll get close. I'm going to sell the CEP. I need to have six CEPs. I'm going to... Oh, but that... Yeah, that reveals the end, so I can't sell it right now. I'll be able to, though. So the price for CEPs goes up, and two get placed in there. Next turn, I'll be able to sell it for even more. That's not too bad. So I'm proposing that there. I will move a scientist there as well. So that action is done. I get a sun knowledge and a tech cube for having proposed one there. And I will claim a UN card. What can I do? Let's just do one that costs one. And that can be, we haven't got two recycling built yet, so it'll have to be this one. That gets me two points. Which is good, because I haven't got any. So I finally got two points now. And turn two. Yeah, I can't do anything in the market. Turn two. Yeah, six CPs in your hand. If I get a ridiculous amount of money, I could just buy them, I guess. But yeah, it's not going to happen, is it? I can keep that, though. Not if I want to sell it. Let's, let's do this, though. So we, we are infrastructuring. So pay a CEP. It can come from... Let's just keep taking them out of 
Asia in case we want to propose one here and get the money. Uh, so pay CP, move the scientists. We don't need... We're giving up on that. Yeah, we're giving up on that. So let's, let's place over here to get... Yeah, a tech cube. Let's, let's place on here to get a tech cube. Uh, receive the benefits is three tech cubes. And flip him over and put my infrastructure on. And yeah, that's action two. Cards, I'll claim a UN gold card. I've done two wind farms, so let's just have that one. Yeah, we've also got to propose three of the same type, which, yeah, unfortunately, I was going to do it with recycling. I could... Um, if I, got to this, if I got to propose and do infrastructure of wind, then that does that goal, but I'm still not doing that, am I? Six CPs in my hand. Hey, let's not naysay, we can do this. So I want the money, don't I? Market, sell this for eight, and the price goes down. Third action, I will build, which costs what for solar? It costs 10, and now when we move it down, we knock the oldest co2 producing plant out and we lower by 20 we go there i'm in control of another region although it doesn't have any cps left and victory points that's going to be eight so we're on 10 and yeah that's that and now 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 one step up to perform a second action what if we if i didn't do that I was thinking if I could have done the summit, that would give me so much knowledge and maybe a lot more income, but I don't think it's possible. Tell me in the comments, do you think I could have done that summit? I don't think I could. I'm just trying to think of take back so that I can still do it and think of ways of earning money so that I can still do the, uh, the, the recycling, which, you know, costs seven. If I can get $5, I can do it, but I don't think I can get $5. I, I, I'm going to have to get it by proposing twice but then I'm not going to have the tech cube that I need. Oh, coming off the solar plant. Did that give me a knowledge? I don't think it did. That gives me a knowledge in anything. So... Yeah, I can't really use that to my advantage anywhere. Yeah, if we get to the end of solar, that would be great, but I might as well go up in here, and that gives me a go up anywhere, and... There, that's one more income. I'm on the seven space. I could send a scientist off to get a tech cube, but then I'm still short, aren't I? Some money. I'm short one money, I think. You'll just have to propose two things for money. So yeah, that gets me the tech cube. Or we propose it into infrastructure. Yeah, that gets, that gets me a tech cube. Doing the scientist. And that's my second action and everything. Proposed. If we proposed, say, wind, we'll propose it here because that's the most money. That's four money. Yeah. And then in my final action, we will do infrastructure here. So that's pay a CEP. Do that from Asia. There's no scientist in there. So I get $5 and another tech cube. And then bump up the pollution, and we will build. I haven't got an infrastructure thing. I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to do that, actually, if I haven't got any infrastructures left. We should have a nice uh, solar plant up there, shouldn't we? And then over here, we're building. So building recycling is $7, a tech cube, and five points. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, like, I proposed this so I would have three of the same type. But if I proposed something different, I wouldn't have been in much of a better position. So I think we're okay just living with that. So we did infrastructure there, we built this power plant, we got a few more points. Did something get built in Oceania? That's Oceania, yeah. So the... Oh, the I've, I've put the inspector back thinking that he was just a, an errant <laughs> cube. So the inspector's going to be pleased with that, and that saved us four points. Unfortunately, didn't get anything else done with solar. We're very close to getting to the end of solar. I could have proposed and done solar, but I wouldn't have had 
I would have been too money short of being able to do something like that, which could have been solved by a card had I not trapped those two scientists in Paris, waiting for the other two scientists to turn up. Uh, I think I am done there. I don't think I can do anything else. I have got card and move scientists and everything available. Haven't got any scientists. I haven't got enough money to do anything in the market. I haven't got enough cubes, unfortunately. Oh, I have, I've done two, two recycling now. Yes, I can do a card. Okay. Because this card here, two recycling and a wind, one cube and two points. Don't worry, I'm not in it under any illusion that I've won the game. I know that I haven't done six things in my hand. Let's swap this out. Can somebody, uh, somebody good at uh, After Effects or something Photoshop this to be uh, some kind of uh, another gold tile that I have actually done? No, I'm not that bothered. Okay, so let's skip income. No, let's just do the income because we'll just have it all in points because money is worth nothing at the end. So income is 4, 8, 14, 19, 26. So 6 is going to put me on 23. 43 points. Goals. Still haven't got to the end of that, so that's minus 4, 8, 12. So that is going to put me on 31. 31 is all we've got to try and balance out this pollution. And it's four points each, so I don't think I can do it. It's four points for every step on that pollution track. I think, yeah, the round that I couldn't get it back from there and couldn't do any of the extra turns, that kind of decided the end of the game. So 2040, we have a 40 right there. So that's 16 points. So that's going to put me on 15 let me take a CP away. And then Africa is fine. And I, in a way, kind of wasted it because I could have put that somewhere where one of these is going to come out now. That's going to be 30. CP comes away. And that's going to be 12 points. On three points. I think you can, you can see the writing on the wall. Nothing out there in Oceania. We've managed to build something. Uh, but I didn't build one here. That's going to be... Uh, yeah, I can't pay to bring that down at all, so we are 30 over, and another 30 over. So we are 60 over the CO2 emissions, unfortunately, so I have 100% lost the game. Uh, very, very close to, you know, two UN cards left over. That puts me at credible, uh, and uh, if I'd managed to keep it at 500, I would be a credible garden keeper. Unfortunately, I am not, though. I am incredible. So, yeah, unfortunately... We didn't manage to save the world. The CO2 levels kept rising, and yeah, we just didn't manage to clinch it. But I, I think, I kind of saw them a decade too late. That's, uh, oh, how fitting <laughs> to the world now. But yeah, I kind of saw a little bit too late the bad decisions that I had made. Shifting some of the regions over, I think, and giving me control earlier would have given me a lot more freedom to have CEPs whilst stockpiling them myself for my goal that I needed to win the game. But hey, we nearly made it, didn't we? I think we're quite close. Anyway, that is CO2 Second Chance. If you'd like to know what I think, it's coming up on the screen soon. If you'd like to support the channel and keep playthroughs coming, that's patreon.com forward slash slicker drips, and your support would be massively, massively appreciated. Thank you very much for watching this far. Hopefully we'll do better in the next game. I'll see you for that. Bye, everyone. Bye.